thank you very much. The reason, my, the reason I'm here is because you have had a superb MP yeah, since yeah. 2015. Yay! And it's absolutely essential that we get Rupert in. So that's yeah. why yeah. You know, it's absolutely yeah. essential. And I always say, of course, for constituents I've served in Streatham since 2010, having a Labour MP there is fundamental. But in the end, we don't have the nine Sure Start Children's Centres that we have in my constituency, the Safer Neighbourhood teams, which are just about still there, the new hospitals, the new health centres, the better school buildings. That wouldn't have happened unless there was a big grouping of Labour MPs in the House of Commons making a Labour government possible. I mean, in the end, we can do the thousands of bits of casework that we do for individuals in our constituency, but unless you have a big Labour team, can't fundamentally transform people's lives. So that is why I'm here. It is in the interest of Streatham people that Ealing delivers Rupert Hart as their MP at this general election. Now I'm just going to say something quickly about what's happened over the last 24 hours and then something about our response to it. And to be honest, it's hard to follow Rupert because she said pretty much everything I was going to say. But when something like this happens, your immediate emotional instinct is one of deep sorrow and you immediately put your mind in the minds of those who were involved in what happened over the last 12 hours, 24 hours, yes. those who lost their lives, those who were injured, those who are fighting for their lives, their families and their friends. That's the immediate emotional reaction that you have. You then also have, as I felt when I woke up and saw the scale of what has gone on, sheer anger. How dare these people try and terrorise this capital city of ours? How dare they try and stop us from leading our daily lives? And of course, in a way, we have to ask, what is the response they want from us? In a way, they want us to be angry. They want us to turn in on each other. They want us to look for groups in society to blame for what has happened. And as Rupa said, of course, there will be focus on the Muslim community. But I look at my two mosques in my community in Streatham, and they are absolutely clear. This is completely and utterly contrary to Islamic teaching. Correct. There's nothing Islamic Correct. about what yeah. has happened yeah. over yeah. the last 24 hours. So if we now seek to turn a whole community into a suspect community, and we demonize a community, that is what the terrorists want us to do. And there can be no victory for terror in this capital city of ours. And the best answer, the best answer is actually a politics that seeks to unite, that doesn't seek to other people, but actually seeks to build as much trust as we possibly can have between all different groups in society. And I'm really clear about that. It's not a matter of party politics, but the reason I got involved in the Labour Party is because the Labour Party is, just look around us, look at everyone gathered here. This is a, a, a microscope of our country, modern Britain representative. This is what the Labour Party is. So you will not see a Labour Home Secretary sending go-home vans around areas with high immigrant population. England against Scotland. You will not see a Labour Party seeking to set private sector workers against public sector workers and continually beating up on our trade unions who represent our working people. That is not what the Labour Party is. We are the party that in the end builds that unity, that can foster the trust, and that's ultimately, for me, how you defeat terror, how you defeat hatred, how you defeat those people who continually try and divide us. Ultimately, that is what it is to be a Labour person. That's why, in spite of the fact, there is a, a we all have it, should we, be even, should we even be campaigning today? Is it right that we do politics on a day like this? Of course it is, yeah. because if we stop doing this, the terrorists have won. And all those values I talk about, all of those values, are in one person here. And that's why I'm here today. So let's get out there.